welcome to Bible class. Sing yeah. with us. I've got, got peace like, like a river. river. I've, I've got peace like a river. river. I've got peace like a river in my soul, not my shoe. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul, not my shoe. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul, not my shoe. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul, not my shoe. I've got peace like a river, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, not my shoe. I've got peace like a river, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, not my shoe. I need help, kids. I need lots of help. Woo. Are we ready for another song? Are you in God's army? Yes, ma'am. Me too. Reporting for duty. Are you in God's army? Join us. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm Mr. James, Yo. we're in Texas. Yeah, how, we let's do, how about we do cowboy version? You ready? But I'd have to have a hat. Let's get him. Got my cowboy hat. All right. Howdy, ma'am. Y'all ready for the cowboy version? I may, may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the, the artillery. artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yeah! I'm in the Lord's army. Yeah! I'm in the Lord's army. Yeah! I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly for the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yeah! You see that? I saw that. That was pretty cool. I threw my hat. <laughs> okay. Oh. You know, things are a little different. Sometimes things kind of feel like my we're hair. keeping space from each other. <laughs> <laughs> see what you did there. Let's do that. The outer space version. Whoa. Oh, this is a new one for me. Can you be an astronaut? Well, of course. All I right. Guess, but Here I you go. Hat. You oh. got to have a hat. Oh, my goodness. It's got to fit, though. Whoa. See. It fits. Roger, Roger, can you hear me? Here we go. You ready? You ready to learn this one, Mr. James? Here we go. Can you hear me? I may never, never blast into oh, outer in space, space, shoot lasers oh, any place, oh, oh, oh. win at a rocket race. Oh. I may, may never walk oh. on the moon in space, but oh, I'm in the Lord's oh. army. Roger, Roger, sir. Roger, Roger, sir. I'm in the Lord's Lord, army. Roger, 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 sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Roger, 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 Roger sir. I may never blast into outer space, space. shoot lasers <laughs> any place, <laughs> win at a rocket race. I may never walk on the moon in space, but I'm in the Lord's <laughs> army. Roger, Roger, sir. Roger, Roger, sir. Good job. I like it. Yeah. You did great. That was pretty cool.
That's pretty can I cool. Can keep wearing my hat? Well, you can if you want to. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Can hardly wait. I've got the joy, joy. This so all excited. this I've got singing joy. together just makes us so happy. Yeah, it does. It's great. <laughs> I've got the joy, 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 joy down, down in, in my heart. heart. Where? Where? Down, down in my heart. heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got, got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Sit on attack. Oh, sit on attack. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Oh, sit on attack to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Good job. Yeah, baby. Awesome. No, they did awesome. Let's take a look at our experiment first. Today's science experiment is a balloon zip line. You're gonna need some balloons, straws, tape, and some string. Okay, for this experiment, we're gonna start with just the balloons. Mr. James, can you help me out? Yes. Okay, blow these balloons up, okay? May take us for a minute. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Dane, get your balloons blown up. Let's see if we can blow up more than one balloon each. Okay, so I'm going to blow up my balloon. Mr. James is going to hold the string. Yep. Don't, don't floss your teeth with it. That's gross. It's important to floss your teeth. Only floss the ones you want to keep. Remember that, kids. All right. I've blown up one balloon. I've got a straw. straw. <laughs> I'm going to take my straw to my blown up balloon that I have not tied closed. Don't tie your... Actually, Mr. James, can you help me? Oh, yeah. I'm holding the string. I'm doing my job. Can you tape the straw onto the balloon, please? Tape the straw onto the balloon. Please. Right there. Yes, ma'am. Anything for you, Miss. All Lord. right. So we've got the straw taped onto the balloon. Oh. Now we're going to take our string and we're going to slide it into that straw. No way. It won't fit it. Oh, maybe it, it will. Here we go. Does it pop? No, don't pop your balloon. Don't pop your balloon. I was kidding. Don't forget the floss. He wasn't kidding about that. Nope, wasn't kidding about that. Okay. And there is my string through my balloon. Now, Mr. James, can you come on this other side of me and hold that string tight? Yes, I can. Okay. Now, this time, when I let go of the balloon, I wonder if we're going to know where it's going to go. Where do you think it's going to go, Mr. James? Uh, this is a really tough question. I'm going to watch. I have a guess. Okay. I think it's going to go that way on the string. Let's see. That time we knew the direction the balloon was going. Whoa! It had a focus on the line. We knew 
its direction because it was focused with the straw attached to the balloon. Where did the first set of balloons go to that we released? They went all over the place. Now where did the second balloon go to that was taped to the straw on the string? It went in a straight line, didn't it? Which one had focus? The second balloon. Today we're going to talk about Daniel and how he had focus. Let's sing a couple more songs together, Mr. James. You ready? Let's do it. Let's sing. Blue skies, skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart, down in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Tall mountains, green valleys, the beauty that surrounds me all makes me aware of the one who made it all. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart, down in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus, for it is the power that saves us today. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. That's a good one. Today we're talking about focus, and it's really good when we have our eyes focused on the right things, our ears, our mouth. Hey, how about we sing, Oh Be Careful Little Eyes? That's another good one. Okay, here we go. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little feet, where you go. Before we get into our Bible story, let's one sing more. one more, one more. song. Okay. Right. okay, in the Bible, we know the Bible is God's word. And in the Bible, we learn that Jesus loves us. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, and Jesus loves you. What? Yeah. yeah. And Jesus loves you. you. And you and you and you and you Sing and you. Sing with us. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I already said we're going to be talking about Daniel today. We're going to back up a couple of chapters and start at the beginning of Daniel. And we're going to he hear a story about Daniel and when he had focus. Focus on God to do what was right. Let's listen. A long time ago, God's people rebelled against him. 
For years and years they disobeyed his laws and worshipped idols. God warned them over and over to change their ways, but they did not listen. Finally, God let his people be conquered by a foreign king to punish them and bring them back to him. A king named Nebuchadnezzar conquered God's people and took all of the treasures from God's temple and carried them back to his own country, Babylon. And that's not all. King Nebuchadnezzar ordered Ashpenaz, one of his high officials, to bring some of the boys from Judah to his palace to train them. He was to choose boys from the important families, including the royal family. King Nebuchadnezzar only wanted young, strong, smart, and handsome young men to serve him. They were to be taught the language and writings of the Chaldeans. Among the young men were Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were taken from their families and forced to move to Babylon. They were to be trained for three years, and then they would become servants of King Nebuchadnezzar. The king provided food and wine for the young men each day. It was the same kind of food that the king himself ate. However, Daniel knew that God's law said that his people should not eat that kind of food, and Daniel wanted to obey God. Daniel went to Ashpenaz and asked for permission not to eat the food that King Nebuchadnezzar provided. Now, God had moved the heart of Ashpenaz to be kind and loyal to Daniel. However, Ashpenaz told Daniel, I am afraid of my master, the king. He ordered me to give you this food and drink. If you don't eat this food, you will begin to look weak and sick. You will look worse than other young men your age. The king will see this, and he will become angry with me. He might cut off my head, and it would be your fault. Daniel had an idea. He said, Please give us this test for ten days. Don't give us anything but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then after ten days, compare us with the other young men who eat the king's food. See for yourself who looks healthier, and then decide how you want to treat us, your servants. And it was agreed. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego ate only vegetables and water for ten days days. After ten days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than all the young men who ate the king's food. So the guard continued to take away the king's special food and wine and to give only vegetables to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God gave these four young men the wisdom and ability to learn many different kinds of writing and science. Daniel could also understand all kinds of visions and dreams. At the end of the three years of training, Ashpenaz brought all the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked to them and found that none of the young men were as good as Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these four young men became the king's servants. Every time the king asked them about something important, they showed great wisdom, and understanding. The king found they were ten times better than all the magicians and wise men in his kingdom. Wow, Daniel and his friends were focused. Even after being taken captive and being offered all of the king's food and drink, Daniel and his friends stayed focused. They knew that vegetables and water were going to make them strong and keep them healthy. They studied for three years, and at the end of those three years, the king found that they were better than all the others, and that they were actually ten times better than all of the magicians and fortune tellers in the kingdom. It's because they stayed focused on what was doing what was right. Our balloons, let's think back on those. We had the balloons that went all over the place, and we had the balloon that stayed focused. What are we going to do today to keep our focus on God so that we stay on the path that God wants us to? Let's read from the Bible. Let's read Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. 
It says, Brothers, continue to think about the things that are good and worthy of praise. Think about the things that are true and honorable and right and pure and beautiful and respected. When we think about these things that God has told us to in here in Philippians, the things that are true and respected and beautiful and honorable and right, which of those things does Satan like? None of them! These are all characteristics that God wants us to keep our focus on. We can keep our focus by staying in God's word, surrounding us for ourselves with people that are Christ-like and have the same mind as us, and continuing to praise and worship God. Let's sing one more song. Mr. James, come sing with us. All right. Well, we had another week of our lesson on Daniel, so let's close it out with Daniel and Ruth. What do you think? I think that's a great one okay. to conclude with. All right. Ready? I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. For Ruth, she was so sweet and kind. And Daniel was a mighty man. Oh, I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. Have a great week. Oh, just kidding. Let's do it one more time. You want to? Yep. Okay, here we go. I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. And I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. For Ruth, she was so sweet and kind. And Daniel was a mighty man. I want to be like Daniel. And I want to be like Ruth. Have a great